He does love me. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Are we Ethan right now? I guess we are. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? Okay. Uh, Mia, could you help me out here? I appear to be stuck inside some sort of cocoon of death. There she is. Hello, wife. I'm here, and you've been cured as well, which means that you're not crazy. Mia, how? There's no time. Give us a kiss. You have to get out of here and find her. Oh, she's right there. Take this. What? Wait, wait. What are you doing, Mia? What are you doing? She looks like she's Here decaying. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Oh, for God's sakes, Mia, I'm here to save you. Now go kill that little bitch. She's right behind you. No. No. Oh Mia. my God, the last time that guy no. called uh, a little bitch, he got e eaten alive. I would definitely not provoke her. Let me in. Okay, oh God, we and we're back to having absolutely nothing. Are you serious? Mia, you could have transferred your inventory to me. What the fuck are you? Oh my god, we're all just calling her a little bitch. Seems like a really shit idea, guys. She'll just instantly maim us to death. Alright, we need to find... Oh, the goop's going away. We need to find a save thing. It's all your fault. Is it really, though? Is it really? Everything was already pretty fucked up by the time I got here. Okay, my god. Can we get the flashlight on, please, Ethan? Dark as balls. Into the depths. We've got an achievement. Great. Oh, at least we're off the boat. Oh, fuck. At least we're off the boat. That's kind of nice. But without any weaponry. Okay, so if anything comes, we've just got a straight-up run. And all of the fish in this entire lake are dead. Kind of fucked up. Helicopter? Savior? Hello? I'm down here. Ethan, wave your goddamn arms in the air. I know a thing or two about escaping. And you got to wave down the helicopter. He's not done it. Look at all the fish, though. Man. So many fish. So there's got to be some place. Oh, I don't think I like wading in here, but I feel like there's going to be some loot that I'm going to be wanting to pick up. Like this. Flame rounds. All right, so we are going to be getting access to all of our guns back. Nice. We've got one bullet. One, well, I guess I say bullet. One gigantic explosive round. Oh, this is gross. I'm taking this fish with me, though. It's my new fish friend. I will call him... Trevor. <gasps> Bobblehead. Noted. Uh, I've got no weapons. I can't beat that. Right, I've got to remember that's there. Enhanced handgun ammo. Okay, February 18th, 19 1892. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan? I don't know how to pronounce that. Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground here is too unstable. February 19th. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Right, so they must have been digging somewhere. Abercrombie salt mine south. Alright, so they were digging a salt mine and they've stumbled across ancient evil by the sounds of it. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Maybe? Alright, super meds. Oh, yes! Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. For God's sake. Zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You Me. can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Are they actually talking about me? Oh, hell yeah. So... Wait, I wonder if I get the antique coins that Mia had. If I don't, you've taken Mia's things. Oh, damn. Holy shit. 11 
Oh, ten at least. Ten coins. That one's five, that one's seven. Man, is this reset? Oh, I should have saved my things earlier. So what is that? Stabilizer, that's to increase reloading speed. I think I'm gonna go for the Magnum. Let's go for the Magnum. Why the hell not? In the previous Resident Evil games, the Magnum was the absolute tits. I think if I'd actually saved my coins at the start and not put them in the one in the trailer, I would have enough for these two things now. But I do not. Because apparently I'm an idiot. Give me this big boy gun. Ah. Doesn't look great, I'm gonna be honest. I was hoping it looked a little bit cooler than this. Oh my god, right, so all of the things in the world that I want to take with me. Okay, so holy shit, I have got a lot of stuff, like... Unbelievable amounts of stuff. I can't even carry these things, they don't stack. Alright, well we're gonna take all of this amazing shit with us for now. Shotgun, bison, grenade launcher. I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever it's gonna throw at me. Okay, quite honestly, bring it on. Bring it on, game. I'm ready. I am so loaded full of heals and ammo that uh, it's gonna have to throw something insane at me now. Ah. Uh, sure. Screw you, little buddy. Where are your friends? Alright, so we up, should be up to like 40, maybe even 15 now? 14 out of 20. Alright, six more hiding out there in the game. I don't have enough space already. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, give me... Hello, sir! Hello, please just die. Whoa, did they get a bit tougher? I guess 20 bullets, still about the same. Stay dead. Stay dead, right. I guess shotgun. 21 shotgun shells? Oh my god, I'm loaded! Come here, dickhead! And you... Oh my god, the headshots are absolutely glorious. Oh, there's a lot of them. Alright, well I can deal with that. Yo, what up, dude? Oh my god, I love this shotgun. Oh! Oh, there's more stuff coming. At least I think I can hear stuff. More... There it is, he was behind me. Bastard! Okay, I wish it wasn't so dark out here. Oh my god, don't have enough space! Fifteen handgun bullets. Hmm. Ooh, very nice. Lockpick? Herb? Alright, we're gonna eat these psycho stimulants. And grab a herb. How are we doing on health? We're absolutely fine. Alright, Ethan. Actually... Fuck it. Eat the herb. Don't need to use it? Well, drop it then. I want those handgun bullets. Seems like leaving ammo behind seems like a dumb, 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 dumb idea. Alright, we have psycho stimulants as well, so if there's any loot I'll be able to see it, so I don't need to check too hard. Alright, up we go. Where are we going? Nobody knows. Ah, god fucking damn it! Well, I missed my opportunity there. Oh god, it's so dark. It is so dark. Ethan, I know you still got that flashlight on you, bro. Whip it out! Oh my god, we're going so deep. So where is this? This was just a, a shaft in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we're in the salt mine. We are in the salt mine. Right, so is this where they found Evelyn? Quite possibly, which means this is going to be horrendous down here. Hey, little friend. Oh, fuck! Damn, dude, don't poke me like that. There we go. Right, I was trying to be a little bit overconfident there, but things are moving that fast. Maybe the handgun's the way to go. I've got 50 bullets, so... Get this crap out of here. So much ammo. Burner fuel. I hear something! Oh, there it is! Should have used the shotgun. Should have used the shotgun! Oh my god, I didn't die. Now you're dead, assholes. Oh, he's not dead. 
Wait a sec. Oh, I don't have... There we go. I don't have my knife. My trusty knife. Oh. I thought he was still alive there for a second. I'd be like, damn, you're durable, my friend. Oh. Let's get rid of all of these in case I'm going to somehow need to come past here at some point in the future. And does this go anywhere? This does not go anywhere at all. It's just a central pillar. All right, I'm coming, Evelyn. I'm going to fuck your day up. I'm going to grenade launch you if I really need to. And drop down into the pit of no return. Uh, let's hit the map. So this way's a dead end, so Loot City, right? Nope, we're not getting over there. What is this? I don't know what any of this mining equipment is. Holy shit, remote bombs. Oh, I maybe should have brought some remote bombs with me. Have I made a gigantic mistake by not doing that? I think I might have. Uh, I can't craft anything. We're going to have to ditch some chem fluid. Not ideal. But I do like the bombs. The bombs have been insanely useful so far. Okay, off we go. Ethan, what the hell? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What? How did that one shot me? What on earth? That was bizarre. Four-legged, four-legged molded. This type has little health but walks on all fours and is very fast and nimble. Make sure you get your shots in wherever they stop evading long enough. Yep. No shit. Oh, God, I gotta go back to here. All right. Die. Right, I also think I can play this smart now. If I go underneath the tripwire, I'm sure the beasts are not smart enough to respect tripwires, right? I didn't even kill him, though. Shit's bananas. Yep, keep coming, friends. Keep coming. This is what the remote bombs are here for. Saving ammo. For some reason, saving ammo is something we want to do. Oh, it actually gives random loot in each one of those. I wasn't aware. Right, shotgun at the ready this time. I'm not going to get caught with my pants down again. I really do wish that I knew where that one came from, though. He just suddenly is behind. Right, that one shot. Still alive. Beastie. Fucking hell, I hate these things. Three shotgun shells, not worth. Not freaking worth at all. Right, this is horrible down here. How do they even... What? They're coming out the fucking walls! It's like Alien 2 all over again. Right, push this down here, smash this open. Seems pretty self-evident to me. Go, Ethan, go. Use your big man strength. Well done, sir. Well done. Bravo. Bravo. Anything else down here? Nope, that's all shut off. Okay, man, we are deep, deep, deep into the mines now. I keep expecting stuff to spawn behind me. That seems to be the way that the game's going. Can't go down there. Alright, we're blasting through our shotgun shells. Maybe I should use my pistol while I can. No, don't turn the light off, Ethan. My god, every time he turns the light off, it drives me insane. Just keep it on forever. Is that actually a remote bomb? What is that? Oh, it is a remote bomb. Alright, we're going to leave that there. In case some sort of demon wants to come and mess around with it. Loot. 40 machine gun bullets. Nice. Huh. A little bit of lackluster. Take down Evelyn. Wow, that is my mission. Just take down Evelyn. Investigate the mine hideout. I can do that game. I can do that. Please stop giving me bullets and stuff, though. I literally can't even... Wow. <laughs> wow, I thought we were done with that, quite honestly. Strong first aid. Strong first... Wait, these are both strong first aids? Oh my god, they're both, like, insane powerful ones. All right, well, we're up to full health, at least. With so much more... In my storage. Okay, oh god. Friday, January 16th, 2015. 
Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mum and Dad are still totally under though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys have programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Friday, November 4th. That bitch Mira is still somewhere in between Evie, La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in her cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favourite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mummy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street and add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I've got to clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Well, shit, yeah, let's find out how to make her get old. That sounds really good. I've only got two herbs here and I can't pick them up. Mm. I guess I'll just deal. What's that? Steroids? We need the steroids. The steroids are important. Uh, I'm going to end up just dumping a strong thing. I'm probably going to regret it later. There'll probably be a save box in the next room. But shit, yeah. Steroids, get them in my arm right now. <sighs> yes, feel the power, Ethan. Max health increased yet again. For like the millionth time now. Oh, I can pick up the herbs as well. Hey, life is good. Oh, there is a save room there. Shit. I'm wasting my stuff. What is this? A report that details the symptoms that appear when a bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weapon, e weaponized assets, hereby referred to as mold. Tactical infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-apt the amputate limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the A-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations. And soon... What was that? And soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would prove extremely difficult. Sweet. Well, don't get infected, basically, is the moral of this story. What do we got here? Five minutes after dosing, vomiting. E-series dosage test. 10 minutes after dose death. It takes 10 minutes? 12 minutes, cell calcification. Wow, that is a quick process. What the fuck is this? I'm not going to use that yet. More notes. Oh my god, that's a lot. Right, let me save quickly first. Okay, nice save room. No demons. Double flame rounds. Oh my god, it's preparing me for something insane here. Right, so we've got, oh my god, there's so many notes. Right, I'm going to read all of these. Okay, right, let's start with this one. Uh, go. This project was initiated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's NextBass, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. NextBass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only prison of war handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank, the remarkably, remarkably progressed Vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycete. Jesus Christ. The fabrication method for each bioweapon has to introduce the mutamycete genome to a, a pre stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability, from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. 
So Evelyn's the E-series, I guess Evelyn E. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban slash refugee populations. That's pretty smart. The first E-series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of selecting, uh, secreting the mutamycin blank from her tissue at will. It's also of note that Evelyn, Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over the body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves this and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomonas bacteria. Damn, I'm glad about that. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is, audible, which is inaudible to anyone else. So a lot of reading. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stage of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body... blank. Right. Well, Evelyn, you're a horrible piece of work, but she's actually not even a child, which is useful to know. They've just created her uh, in that image on purpose. Right, what do we got here? Four. Jesus Christ. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them a significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects, rather than a cure. If exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-neurotoxin, which blank in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to us in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just a speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Shit, Evelyn, you're weird. When I was